This past weekend, we took a ride up to Elkridge, Maryland, where we went to see the Thomas Viaduct. So let's see what we saw there on Sunday. Here we are at the Thomas Viaduct in Elkridge, Maryland. Yeah, let's see if we can get a good shot at this from this angle right here. There's a lot of woods right here, but I get as close as I can. You get to walk right down to it. We'll start over here and take a look at this. Now we're on Levering Road. And it's right off of Route 1 in Elkridge. If you need to find out how to get here. There it is right there. That's pretty cool how that is built. The Thomas Viaduct spans the Patapsco River and Patapsco Valley between Relay, Maryland and Elkridge, Maryland. It was commissioned by the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad built between July 4th, 1833 and July 4th, 1835 and named for Philip E. Thomas, the company's first president. Okay, there's the retaining wall over on that side of it. And there's a little, little stream running through the bottom of it. At its completion in 1835, the Thomas Viaduct was the largest railroad bridge in the United States and the country's first multi-span masonry railroad bridge to be built on a curve. It remains the world's oldest multiple arch stone railroad bridge. In 1964, it was designated as a National Historic Landmark. There's a creek right there. Let's get a better shot of this right over here. The base of it. Yeah, looks like they had steps going up there. From the road up to the railroad. They got it gated off right now. The Roman arch style bridge is divided into eight spans. The span of the viaduct is 612 feet. The individual arches are roughly 58 feet, with a height of 59 feet from the water to the base of the rail. The width of the top is 26 foot 4 inches, and the bridge is constructed using rough dressed granite that was mined locally at the Patapsco River quarries, and it's known as Woodstock Granite. Its total cost was $142,236, roughly $3.4 million today. And there's Debbie up at the car. She's waiting up at the car for me. There go. Oh, there's another road right there. We're going to see where that road I think that's a park, the state park right there. And this is outside the state park. So I'm going to see if we can get another, another view of this from the other side. We are on the southwest side of the bridge and heading on over to the northeast side to Patapsco Park. Howard County, right on the edge of Anne Arundel and Howard County. Okay, this is about the best we can get from this side of the river. We're just up a little ways from where I videoed before. There's no place to pull off on the road. I'm just sitting in the middle of the road right here. Here's the entrance to Patapsco State Park. And right past the ranger station is the Thomas Viaduct. Okay, we're on in Patapsco State Park. 
the park ranger let us come in and walk down here so we can get some good video of the viaduct and this is on the other side of the river this looks pretty cool we're gonna walk down there and get some more video of it That is pretty cool. And this is the road that we were able to see from the other side. I'm going to walk down towards the water and get a little different shot. Wave, Debbie. There you go. Okay. This is amazing. Right up close. This is a part of history right here. This is one of the first viaducts on the B&O Railroad. We're right in between Baltimore and Ellicott City here. Well, there's the monument, but it kind of it got a little bit of graffiti on it but we're on the opposite side right now and there's an old walkway right on the edge of it uh, I'm pretty sure that's all closed down right now because there's a lot of boards missing on it Okay, and then right over there is where we took the first shots on that side of the river. Now out a little bit further. And the river is nice and clear, not very deep right now. Uh huh. Yeah, come on closer over here. There's the Thomas Viaduct. away I'm going to get one last shot of this from this this angle right here it's very impressive all right we're on the top side now by the tracks you can see the monument over there in the distance the tracks going off to the right are going to Ellicott City, which I had a video of last year. And the tracks crossing the viaduct are going to Washington, D.C. through Jessup, Maryland. We didn't have time to stick around for a train because we were on our way to my granddaughter's field hockey game. So that's something we had to go see. So until the next time, we'll see you.